Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Matt from Wyckoff Stock Market Institute. So this morning, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this uh, Bitcoin chart that we got right here. Uh, this is current as, as of 7.58 Central Standard Time this morning, July 3rd. So basically, what we got here is our Bitcoin chart going all the way back to June 3rd. It's approximately a 30-day chart. It does show our previous high up here around $3,000. That is our previous high resistance. So... We'll go ahead and mark that on the chart there and draw a line over from it. Now, that is the all-time high for Bitcoin. It is the price that we are trying to get back to if you are long Bitcoin or if you're looking for further growth here in the future. Now, next, we want to go ahead and uh, draw our... We obviously had a price drop here, came back up to a new resistance level that Bitcoin was unable to break through back on June 13th. We'll go ahead and put a line there and we'll just uh, go ahead and designate the fact that that was a 50% retracement. From the low back up to the resistance point uh, where demand ran out and there was not enough demand to bring back Bitcoin back up to resistance at the $3,000 level. Now, from there, Bitcoin had a further decline where it actually had a uh, selling climax right down here at the bottom and then an automatic rally and a test. And then it entered into this trading range. So what we'll go ahead and do is mark our trading range with support being down here around the $2,000 two thousand dollar level and uh then our trading range is established by the previous highs and, and the, the continuing low there so we continue through this trading range we were unable to break through the the resistance area right here that's approximately about at uh, 2775 uh, we continue to move throughout the trading range the past couple of weeks testing support down here at the twenty two hundred dollar level uh, the one interesting thing that occurred is after we tested support right here, we had a bounce. And this bounce right here did not have enough demand to come back up to this previous resistance level right at 27.75. So we'll go ahead and designate that on the chart with the new resistance being right here. So let's go ahead and mark that up there. Uh, this is also, it's a little bit more than 50%, but it is pretty close to a halfway retracement up to the previous high, uh, previous resistance level once again here at at 2775 so we now establish new resistance even lower at approximately 2575 which is a 200 dollars drop in the resistance level now the curious thing is over the last couple days we had a little bit of a move up and then overnight we had a big move up um not big as in a couple hundred dollars but a faster increase in the price of bitcoin obviously you guys can see it right here this happened overnight uh last night and generally what I would attribute this to at this point is the fact that, uh, you know, usually dumb money comes into the market after smart money comes into the market. So what we'll generally see here is that when we have a uh, slight increase over a couple of days, there will be a lot of news that comes out about Bitcoin. You know, oh, Bitcoin's bottom out. It's looking bullish now just over the last 24 hours, really 24 to 48 hours, really, because just from June 29th to July 1st, we obviously went down and then we started to come back up a little bit. And once people start to see it come back up a little bit, they throw their money right back at it right away. But uh, we do not have a true sign of strength as of yet. For a true sign of strength, we would be looking for Bitcoin to break through this resistance level up here um, right around 2574. And uh, however, we haven't reached that point yet. What I think will happen here real quickly is we'll see that this will go up towards that resistance and it will either fall short and start to decline again back into this range between these two points or it'll go up and bounce off that uh, resistance point right there at 2574 and then continue to move sideways now if by chance somehow bitcoin does muster the strength to break through this resistance area right here what we will be looking for is one of two things it will either come through this resistance come back down 50% and then continue higher, which is a bullish signal, which is good if you're long Bitcoin, or it'll come up and fall back into the trading range. If it falls back into the trading range, the, the, the sign of strength, which is just the action of it coming up out of the trading range, will need to be repeated before we actually think that uh, Bitcoin is bullish at that point. So right now, I personally think that we'll continue sideways within this trading range, probably bounce off this resistance here, come back down, or not even go up to that resistance and come back down. But uh, only the future will tell tell us here in the next couple of days. But it's just something to, to pay attention to at this point. Uh, 
and we'll try to keep you guys updated on this every day with a new chart and uh we'll continue with uh continue with our trading range studies here in the near future so uh i definitely appreciate you guys checking us out make sure to turn into uh subscribe to crypto news and we'll uh get you some more information okay you guys have a wonderful day hey what's going on guys this is matt from my call stock market institute this show today is brought to you by LearnCrypto.io, the official home of our cryptocurrencies and Wyckoff trading course. Our official trading course helps investors and traders alike identify trades before they happen and teaches individuals like yourself how to limit your risk when trading. This course is a must-have for any serious trader or investor looking to invest their money into cryptocurrencies. Our school and institution has been featured in thousands of articles across the internet, including this one from Business Insider, where they are quoted as saying our method of trading is the one strategy hedge funds on Wall Street don't want you to know about. We have proven our ability through our YouTube channel's history to identify good trades, such as our Ether trade, which resulted in over 100% profit in less than 10 days, as well as our Ripple trade, which to date has earned over 8,000% returns. If you would like to know how to identify these types of trades while maintaining minimal risk, then our cryptocurrencies and Wyckoff trading courses for you. Make sure to stop by LearnCrypto.io today and enroll.